The Merix MX G10M MK2 GPS receiver comes with two different USB cables depending on what camera you use it for, a hanging strap and a clip to attach the receiver to a camera strap. The other option is to slide the receiver on the hot shoe of your camera. Because the receiver itself only has a cold shoe, you still have to connect it to your camera with the mini USB cable. The receiver has an internal battery and gets charged with a micro USB cable, which is today's world standard. You can also charge it with a battery bank. The battery lasts for 4 to 5 hours. After turning it on, the receiver will take up to a few minutes to find the GPS signal, but sometimes it only takes like 20 seconds or something. The left button acts like a down button, the middle button like an up button and the right button like an enter button. This makes it quite easy to navigate through the menu. We connect the mini USB cable to the receiver and also to the camera. Now we can make more adjustments in the camera's menu. When taking pictures, the GPS receiver is not in the way at all. The length of the cable doesn't seem to be the best. It is quite long when directly connecting it to the camera. For wrapping it once around the camera, it seems to be too short. I at least would worry about damaging the cable on the long run. But you also get any size of those cables for very little money. When taking pictures, the receiver automatically gives the camera the input for the position. You can already see it right away on the camera. Even including the elevation and the direction you were pointing at. Pretty impressive. In order to really make a stress test of the GPS receiver, I went to a super rural area where I don't have any phone connection and no internet connection with my phone, nothing to test whether the GPS connection works. And here we go, here are the pictures that I took in that area and I'm very surprised how well it worked. And this is the first picture I took, this one, I took like there was stuff lying around here and it's correct that I was standing there. The next picture is of a, of a, of a chapel and it's true I was standing here and taking a picture here to that side of the chapel. And then the next picture I took of this um, farming land. It is now yellow, not green, but anyway. So I took a picture in this direction. And then I took two pictures at the same location of a military bunker, which is over here. And here is a, how do you call those? memorial place. Yeah, it's a memorial place. And I first took a picture from more behind this one and then I went closer and I took this closer picture. Like I also zoomed in more. So yeah, those are the pictures that I took in the super rural area. Like you can see it's like a bit in the mountain you can say pretty much. And what I find really cool is in Lightroom I can see then, I can see what's, what's the name of the city, what is the state and everything. Uh, pretty impressive. So the next picture I took was in Stuttgart main train station. And yes, my train was standing on this track, track number 11. And it's true that I was here, I remember. I was, I mean, you can see the sign, this, and this is the sign. So I was here and then taking a picture out of there. So it's pretty accurate. And then I took some pictures uh, out of the moving train. I think this one is not, I mean, it, I think it's off by a few meters. Our train was here. So it's slightly off by like a few meters. I don't know exactly why. This is the same picture pretty much. And then here I took a picture out of the moving train. And I mean, you can see it, it is exactly on our trail. Here I took a picture of the, um, of my phone actually, in order to see whether it is the same spot. And it actually is because this is exactly this factory. And I can, like you, you can now only see the small version of it. But if you would see the big version of the picture, then you would see that it is exactly like after this street, so it was accurate. The alternative would of course be to buy the original GPS receiver from Canon, which costs much more. The only significant difference is that you won't need a cable and that you can change the batteries. 
If you can live with that, then the Merox GPS receiver is a great alternative.